repression, he defines as <laughs> it never happened. Very big thing with childhood abuse of all types, but particularly childhood sexual abuse, mm -hmm. uh, is complete repression. It never happened to me. <coughs> My whole life is shown to me that it actually happened to me, but it never happened to me. Overseas, a lot I was talking to people who, a lot of people who have been abused as children, and often it began with it never happened to me. And then after they started dealing with different emotions, it, it, all of the memories started flowing back of it actually happening to them. But before then, the only proof they had it happened to them was their law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And they didn't trust their law of attraction. Yeah. Right. So if your law of attraction is telling you that you've been abused as a child, you've been abused as a child. Whether you remember it or not. It's immaterial. You've been abused as a child. Or your mother has and it's... The emotion has entered you, or your father has, and that emotion has entered you. So, how do you know that that's not uh, one of these spirits coming to dump their stuff on you and give you this past life experience? A spirit will only come and dump their stuff on you if they're attracted to you. Why are they attracted to you? Why would a spirit who's, say, been abused as a child come to you? Because they feel the same emotion inside of you. That's the, the law of attractions that work perfectly in every case. So, even if it is a spirit influencing you, then there is something inside of you that caused that attraction. So don't be afraid of spirit attractions. They're great. They tell you exactly what's going on inside of you. Right? They're attracted to you for a reason. Yeah?